What's up guys, welcome to your 19th Android tutorial against me Travis and these are for the new boss and what we're going to do in this tutorial is still work for our list activity that we're creating uh, called menu and we're just going to go within the onCreate method of this list activity and this is generally uh, or what we have done in the past we would say like set content view and reference a layout that we created in XML but for this list activity we aren't actually going to use a layout we're going to develop everything in Java um, just because for the most part I want to show you guys the Java aspect as well so you can think of instead of saying set content view we're gonna say set list adapter uh, for our list activity and then we're gonna within there it's gonna look for an array adapter which we don't have one and we're gonna set that up so basically um, again this will probably be kind of confusing guys but just stick with this uh, try to follow along and just get this set up and this is a great reference or a great resource for the most part um, I mean this series is because once you guys have this built when you guys are developing your own applications you can always go back and look at how we did some certain things and you guys will pick up on um, pick up on stuff more more easily um, as you guys get more familiar with Java and more familiar with Android and all that great stuff so just stick with it. I promise you later on in the series everything is going to make sense. So what we're going to say is set list adapter. And like I said, this takes an array adapter or a list adapter for the most part uh, within the parameters right here. As you can see, it takes a list adapter, but we're going to create an array adapter, which will basically, what that's going to do is take some kind of parameters or attributes, and it's going to kind of adapt it um, for the most part into a list adapter, if that makes sense. And since we're using an array, that's what we're going to use as an array adapter. I don't know, I thought I'd give you guys kind of an idea of what we're doing instead of making you guys completely lost as we're creating this. So we're going to say new array adapter. And then what we're going to say is a greater than sign and string. Spelt like that. And basically this greater than and less than sign basically whatever is within there it's saying that's the type of array adapter we're creating and we're creating an array adapter with the type string because we're working with a string array up here so hopefully um, and we're getting some errors don't worry about that if we uh, once we set up our method for the most part we're gonna just do some brackets right here or some parentheses after we set up what type it is and then we have to import the array adapter so there you go we import it and now we're getting another error because we aren't giving it any attributes for it to kind of adapt to or convert into you know the thing that we're looking for so if we hover over here we can see kind of the different attributes or parameters that it takes within these parentheses and we want to use the one that uses a context an int and a string array so that's one we're going to click on and it kind of sets up some stuff for us our context again we're just going to refer to the context of our class so we're going to say our class name menu dot this and it already has our again this was our string array and it already has it set up it says classes and that again is this string array up here you don't have to put those square brackets right there it just it's just going to know that's a string array so there we go we set up that parameter and the only other one we have left is this int now this is going to be maybe kind of confusing for brand new programmers because you're like an int okay or integer I know what that is that's like a one two three that's a whole number um, but what we're actually gonna do is kinda use a reference and what this parameter is actually gonna be is just one single list item uh, kinda the layout of one single list item within our whole entire list and it's gonna kinda set that up for us but it's referred to as an int because over here in our gen folder um, our R Java just to open that up I don't know if I showed you this as well but these are all ints as well like um, you know let's see our splash background you're like that's a picture but it's referring to it as an int and it's just kind of a reference that it's giving um, as a number so don't get too confused by saying oh we need like a one two or some kind of number basically what this parameter again is going to be is just a single item within our list and Android the Android SDK comes with some of these default 
uh, list items that we can use. So we're going to refer to that instead of creating our own at the moment. So we're going to say Android dot R dot uh, layout dot and then we have all these choices that we can choose from and we're going to pick simple list item one so again this is just setting up kind of the attributes of a single list item within our entire list so hopefully that made somewhat sense like some sense I completely understand if that made no sense at all guys don't worry because again trust me as we go through the series you'll understand everything so thanks again guys for watching the next tutorial we're gonna finish our list activity where we set up this method on list item click so catch you guys then have a good one